All right, so let's talk about diving into Solaris in this part two of my project breakdown. And I'm really excited to get into this a bit because I spent the last year or so getting pretty deep into Solaris. And um, while there definitely were some kind of difficulties figuring out at first, I really like it a lot now. Um, and I definitely think that it's something that most Houdini artists are probably gonna wanna learn. Um, and I also recently just started getting seriously into Karma and Karma XPU, which I'm a really big fan of now. And I think it's pretty quickly becoming probably the best option for rendering in Houdini for most people. And it's currently my main render engine. I use it for pretty much everything now. Um, I used to use Redshift all the time, and now I'm a huge Karma freak. Um, so let's just uh, jump in and I'll break down this whole setup for you a little bit. Um, just as a heads up though, this is still just an overview of this one project. And I plan to do some deeper dives into Solaris, USD, Karma, Material X, all these sort of topics that are really hot right now with Houdini. And um, I wanna kind of show how they could be better used for indie artists like myself or theoretically smaller studios as opposed to all the very large studios that it seems to be really targeted at. So anyway, let's jump in. Thank <laughs> you. 